have so many ways okay. to push towers. Their rows are very fast though because of the Tusk and Beastmaster. It's a carry profit, right? Yeah, it is. I think so, yeah. Five They're missing a position... Uh, Viva Kick Star is missing a position 5 or a mid laner. I, think it's position I like five. the speed breaker ban. Mm. You think it'll be Tusk middle? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it's gonna be like Beastmaster position 3, Robux 4, does keep mid laner uh, and Natus Prophet position 1. So they're missing a position 5. Like a snapfire. Like a snapfire. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I can go with Disruptor too. Yeah, Disruptor, Snapfire. Um. Infamous still got still got a Marana in there, but uh, I don't I re yeah I don't know where they're putting the sniper if he's going middle against the Tusker. I feel like sniper should have a, a good lane against Tusker, but yeah. mm. you know what? I feel like Primal Beast would be amazing for Infamous, but I I don't know how you fit uh, fit it in their fit it, draft. Yeah. I mean, it can work. Like, you can put like a Primal Beast mid and uh, 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 a tiny four? position four. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's an amazing Primal Beast game. You can just run over people. And it's amazing against Tusk as well. Mm -hmm. oh, no snap anymore. Oh, there yeah. goes the snap player. No I think grandma. Silence is ab available, right? Silence sounds a good pick for. Evil QG stars. Uh, Especially if Infamous speak like a Primal Beast. I like they have Dallas speaker, right? Yeah, Alice Scepter is, is good as well. Special against Triant. Do you sorry? Five seconds remaining. Uh, Who did you say? Sip. Silencer for Vivo QG stars. Oh, and if, if, they, if they if they yeah, if they have they have less speak, right? Vivo QG stars. Yes, they do. Uh, they have the less speak, yes. yeah, so. I think Infamous just bring like something like Primal Beast, they think they can bring Sansa. Mm. Yeah, Primal. Uh, like Primal mid, right? Yeah. Yeah, and Tiny Position 4. They can Let's still put the... Uh, Vivo can still adapt their supports and put like a uh, Tusk 4, Rubik 5 and bring out a uh, mid laner for, for the R. Oh, Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit. Okay, Sliding. so tiny middle, tiny mid, sniper DP safe, off. DP bottom, yeah. Okay. So Tusker mid. I always, I, I, I always like automatically feel bad if it's a last pick pause five, especially if you're on second pick. Yeah, I have the same feeling about you. So I feel like yeah, this Tusker might be a five, but I don't know. It was like... The Tusker mid will work as well against um, Tiny. It's a good matchup, so. Let's see. Mm. I'm thinking of a 4DR hero that can spice things up in order to move the supports, move the Tusk to support. But I can't think about a good one. You I don't think see. it's a good Storm game anymore. No, it is not. Playing against Trans Protector and Tiny and also Earth Spirits is just a hard game Earth for Spirit, some sort. Yeah. Like Lish. Um... That's just good, actually. Yeah. Is that Ryan? Right uh, it's banned. Oh, it's banned. banned. First banned. Mm. I think they're going to pick this up, Thorak. Right? Disruptor. Yeah. Uh, it's either Disruptor or, or you go with Flash mid. I, I think it's one of the two. Zeus. 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 Is it Zeus mid or why? Zeus position 5? I think it's a Zeus mid. Like the, it, they... Infamous doesn't have any illusion heroes at all, so... You just should pick Zeus against illusion heroes like Naga, the Herblade. Maybe it's more about the uh, the global presence, right? Having a Nature's Prophet yeah. and a Zeus and Beastmaster to scout things out. I can see yeah, uh, yeah. The, the Zeus pick here. 
You have some burst to DP too and sniper. I don't think it's a bad yeah. idea. I'm worried about mm -hmm. him getting burst. Because it's a uh, high burst yeah, damage on I the other like side. This... Yeah, I feel like he might be a bit prone to to being ganked on the Zeus. Because, like. I mean, the only hero that can really save him is this Tusker. Alright, do, do we trust the Zeus here? Or is the, the sniper too strong? What do you guys think? I like the infamous draft. I like uh, it. Yeah. But I'm going for Viva I like Viva's draft until the Zeus pick, but I don't think the Zeus <laughs> pick breaks their draft. I just I just don't think it makes it any stronger than I'm going with Magic. Was. I'll have to go. Whatever she picks, I'm going with Magic. I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you trust me because I got the last one correct. Yeah, yeah. we'll go with the Viva here. All right. What about you, Sherlock? Yeah, as I said, I like the infamous draft, but I'm going with uh, Vivo KG stars. I think their lineup are so fast. Like, if everything's, you know, I, I, goes... if it goes according to plan, you think they can take this one? I was going to say like about the early game, actually. But yeah, I, I don't think they can win uh, the late game. The sniper late game is so strong, especially against Beastmaster. But yeah, I'm going with Vivo KG stars. We curse it. We all curse at Vivo KG stars, by the way. So Infamous is going to win the first game now because we just <laughs> we yeah. just bet on them. Every everyone on the panel. Yeah. When everyone on the uh, panel bets, and one team, those team is gonna lose. So yeah, we curse it. All right, all right. So that's it for our draft. So let's see which one, which team gets this first game. It's Rada and Crucial with the casting. series of the day back with me is my main man crucial boy we out here crucial how you feel coming into this game number two is there a side that you like better uh you are muted crucial aha okay sorry i, I was just saying aha. i said you know i'm levitating right now you know this is this is still <laughs> so fun to be able to get to do this with you man what, what a dream come true but uh, yeah, I mean, a cool looking drafts here. Um, I think the, you know, uh, Infamous had, or sorry, excuse me, Keed had a, a burst damage problem until that Zeus pick. You know, the panel didn't like it very much, but, you know, uh, they didn't really have a way to get through this DP or sniper quickly, uh, and, you know, until they get a bunch of right click items. Uh, but it is a very scary game for the DP, or for the Zeus and the NP as well. Uh, you know, the, with the tiny and the ES on the board with the sniper to uh, back them up, uh, they can get they can get blown up and caught pretty easily. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. And you know, uh, another thing that stands out about the key draft is uh, if they get an early lead, if they get an early advantage, they can just run this game over. Uh, I think even with the sniper and the uh, tree of protector on the board, just the combination of Beastmaster and Nature's Prophet is so scary, especially with all the auras that. Uh, Tavo is certain to build, um, you know, that you could lose all, your entire map in a heartbeat if you're infamous. <laughs> yeah, so that's, uh, I feel like that's definitely going to be the game plan for the for Vivo Key. Just going to be trying to to restrict the map as much as possible and and absolutely leave their fingerprints all over the all over the course of the game. But uh, so then what is what is the answer? for the side of infamous if you know you mentioned the burst damage issues but uh is is what is the, what is the game plan here for the side of infamous to take this game number one yeah i mean if they have a good laning phase and they um i, I think they can build the tools to be successful in this game you know like build a couple saves uh i think they needs to be the ones uh on the front foot in this game coming out of the landing phase because they have great initiators they have two different initiators um you know they have so they have the advantage in that regard so if they get the items they need coming out of the landing phase um in the, into the mid game here i think they can um they can take over this game and you know i think the, the sniper is the alpha dog in this game so uh if they're able to able to get the items they need and play on the front foot i think they can take this game Okay, okay, so now we have the clear-cut objectives labeled out for each side. We're going to have a quick pause, there so we'll we do go. that to kind of catch up on, on what's going on in the game. 
So uh, it's four to two versus seven and two in the mid lane. What are your expectations in this mid matchup? Yeah, it should be a little bit of a farm fest. Um, if the runes go the Zeus's way, I think he can really bully the Tiny out of the lane or force him to buy a lot of regen here and win the lane that way. So, um, um, the Tiny though, he obviously has that kill threat. So, um, if he gets a rotation from one of his buddies here, he can turn the lane in his favor by uh, by getting the kills here on the Zeus. So. Other than that, though, it should be pretty sleepy in the mid, I think, until we see the rotations. And if I was looking it for an we'll see the lane, rotations, absolutely. I look bottom, yeah. Yeah, true, okay. true. You know, as soon as, I mean, those four, the six-minute runes, so now we're going to have a lift oh. drag back onto MJZ, but Kataro providing the cover fire to allow the Treant to get out of dodge. And I mean, this tree, he's going to have a bit of a rough lane, right? Going the Wild Axes build. So we're going to be able to cut down all of those uh, tricky pathing ways that the tree likes to live in. Oh, top lane. Oh, now we have a go. On to Tavo. Up top, we have some action as well. Tavo being brought yeah. down with Shrapnels, the Fairy Fire, keeping himself alive. Meanwhile, the Snowball is going to be going in. On to Oscar. As they're looking for first blood, Costa Bile is going to pick it up. Meanwhile, down in the bottom lane, is their action still happening? Nah. So we'll check back in on top. Everything's starting to settle down up here as well. Yeah, nice, nice start for him to pick up that first blood. Um, you know, I did say the sniper's the alpha dog in this game, but as we all know, you always have a chance later if you have a late game NP, so. He just makes the game so muddy. He just, he he really just turns does. it into yeah. a dirty, snowy, muddy football game. It just makes things so much outside of what you would normally expect from the game. Oh, slotted? There's that rotation we were talking about. Now oh, KJ being aggressed upon himself. We have action split up across the map. As as ADR, he's going to be A-OK. -okay. KJ, though, the same cannot be said. He's finally been tracked down through the woods. It's Kataro. He's still trying to hide. He's still trying to juke through the trees. The wild oh. axes come through, but Kataro is still able to clean up the kill. If anything, he got rid of the hiding places for the Rubik. Yeah, that would, that would have been a tough juke job to be able to get that. Oh, Tavo? That's oh, a lot of damage coming out. They're going out. in on the Tavo. He used the wand charge, but it's not going to be enough. Slotted was coming in with the rotation to the northwest as well. So that's a double kill for Kataro. And this sniper, he's, he's grooving. Yeah, feeling okay here. He is a little bit behind on the last hits. Uh, I mean, there's just kind of nobody has last hits in this bottom lane. Um... Everybody cruising in the other lane, you know, it's the mid lane. It's just a, it's that farm fest we predicted. Kind of surprised that Slotted didn't get that kill when he rolled in on the, uh, rolled in on the Zeus. It looked really good, but oh man, <laughs> Zeus is in. Uh -oh. oh, that's another rolling boulder forward, kicking through to slow down ADR. TP rotation coming in from King RD. Tag team, the tree toss, not enough damage. He has trapped Slotted though, but. He, the Zeus, he's too afraid. He doesn't want to step in. Now the snowball making Slotems take a couple extra tower shots. King King RD doing a good job of keeping his Zeus alive, but that's the second time that the Zeus will be forced back to the fountain. Yeah, having to do the walk of shame two times already, and it's five minutes, so... Um, he's doing okay in last hits, but not exactly where he'd want to be after all that action in the mid lane. Uh, he's fallen fallen kind of significantly behind the tiny at this point. There's 400 gold behind him. We see another struggling Beastmaster. I feel like we haven't seen a good Beastmaster lane yet. Um, you know, lucky me, again, the Beastmaster Specialist. I get to see a Beastmaster in every single DPC game oh, I've casted my Boulder DPC in. career. On to KJ. They're kicking him back out of the shrapnel, but he's going to have to walk back through the shrapnel. As Kataro is on a killing spree, 3 0 and 0 on this sniper. Yeah, that's not what you want to see if you're keyed right now. That's, this is a great start for Infamous. Uh, they're technically behind in the gold, but your sniper is just is having a time here. And, you know, he's going to be really key to slowing down these big pushes, right? Um, with his shrapnel as well as his long ranged. Uh, I, I want to say Mjolnir. Uh, mini Mjolnir damage. <laughs> Maelstrom, that's what it's called. Uh, those two, you know, with those combined, you can oh, stop the toss a lot back of pushes. Into, the, into the, the rolling boulder in the mid lane. ADR, he's going to have to leave himself to the high ground. Now here comes King RD as well as Ghost of Belay. 
bringing in the reinforcements, getting the kill, and making sure the ADR does not go down. Yeah, just a bloodbath in the mid, man. There's so much action here. Oscar's been pretty much alone in this top lane. He's doing okay. He's ahead of his counterpart on the other side, but uh, he does have... He's doing all right in the levels, too, so... Uh, I, I think that gamble to leave Oscar alone has paid off. Double Wraith ban on Oscar, though. Kind of interesting. Not something you'd expect from Death Going in onto KJ in the bottom lane. Gonna have the lift. Toss to, slun, to stun the Kataro Sniper. And that buys KJ his life. But the struggles in this bottom lane are still there for Vivo. Yeah, it's still a ways off from that Super Helm of the Dominator. It's seven minutes in, so... Um, see if they're able to... I think they'll be able to eject Kataro once he picks that up, but it's going to be quite delayed here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Man, I feel like Slotin hasn't been in his lane since, like, two minutes in this game. Yeah, yeah that's what I was talking about. Back to the old days of four position mode. roamers. Just straight up Roman, yeah. And I mean, that's that's what you want to do with this Earth Spirit hero, right? He's not a very good laner, uh, but he's an excellent, excellent ganker. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of old school Dota here. Old bottom lane. Thunder God's Wrath is going to reveal the truth. Is now going down into the bottom lane. The MJZ, they've already brought down the sniper. It's going to be a double for Costa Bile. Yeah, big kill for, for him to pick up on that rotation. Oh, that makes mid lane sense. going in onto ADR. There's the the toss back onto slot in 40R. He's gonna be trying to move his way. The rolling motor forward. They get the stun, the tree toss. They have the damage. Slot Tim's picking up the kill onto ADR. Rubik gonna deny himself to the tier two tower. This is the SA Dota I was I was expecting, Rada. Yeah, these guys are really picking it up. I think the pace is significantly different from the last series we had here. And uh, I would say this this pace favors Keed right now. Um, you know, really nice rotation for the NP and it's oh, speaking of which, just rotating up top. Oscar's in trouble. Oh, Oscar, he or is, is walking he? <laughs> the dogs right now. Spirit Siphon now onto two. Trapped now in the trees. They're not they're not going to be able to bring down this uh, this Oscar Death Prophet dude. Yeah, this uh, I. He's showing me why the, he picked up the double Wraith bands here. He has a ton of armor, Retta. So he's feeling pretty good. Casual 11 armor, I mean, nine minutes into the game. Feels yeah. good, man. Yeah, not bad at all, not bad at all. So, uh, yeah, he's going to be able to withstand these ganks. There's not, outside of the Zeus, there's not a whole lot of magic damage coming out from uh, from the side of Keed. So, um, uh, yeah, he's going to be relatively tanky until the Zeus shows up. Be interested to see how he builds that... this out. I imagine he's going to go for the uh, the Greaves here, but maybe we see something spicy like a uh, uh, Super Vanguard. I can't remember the name of it. Crimson Guard. You know, they did Crimson buff it Guard. for ranged, ranged heroes. Yeah, they buffed it for ranged heroes, so it wouldn't be the craziest thing to see something come something like that come out. And if you're not way ahead on a Beastmaster, it, like, the Crimson Guard just turns off your hero sometimes. Slotten and Kingard just doing a little dance in the jungle. Meanwhile, farming up some stacks and giving a majority of the gold over to Tavo. So that is going to accelerate his timing towards that uh, the upgraded Helm of the Dominator. But uh, it is still, I mean, it's, it's going to be slightly delayed, I feel. As we have a two-man smoke up, oh, yeah. the Bash Brothers looking, to, looking for some trouble. And that was all under Radiant Vision. Radiant did have vision of that. Tavo? Rolling Boulder forward. Not going to connect. They do get the silence and the slow. Not going to get the avalanche there. Just trying to clean up the, the boar as well as the creep if possible. Yeah, we but had a really able quick to waste some time. Game. Kind of slowing down here. Having a, having a little bit of a sleepy moment. I uh, Again, Oscar just just kind of being... Uh, he got left alone by his own team, kind of being left alone by the enemy team up here, too. Just kind of having the lane to himself. Looks like he's stopping off for a casual cloak here on his way to the Greaves. Kind of interesting. 
Ooh, also interesting. Beastmaster's going for. Uh... Okay, never mind. Now he changed it. He had Power Treads queued up. I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. New tech. Uh, Slotems is closing in on his Blink Dagger, so maybe that's uh, why we've had a little bit of a sleepy moment here. As soon as he gets that Blink Dagger, uh, they should be ready to party here. Very close indeed. Only 200 away. Lead forward. ADR is going to be able to steal the Bounty Rune. Now the lift, the drag back onto Slotems. King RD starting to make the rotation over. Ice Shard's not going to block him. See the Maelstrom done on the Nature's Prophet and the Sniper as well. The sniper doesn't have the Mask of Madness queued up. Uh, usually it's a pretty standard item on the hero, so see what he goes for instead. Right now it's just a casual Blade of Alacrity he's gotten the quick buy, so doesn't want to give us any clues on, this, on the stream as to what Kataro is thinking. Radiance bottom tower. Man, this close to Vile Nature's Prophet so far running almost completely unchecked. 7,500 net worth here, 13 minutes into the game. And uh, is yeah. it safe to say at this point in time that they have a Nature's Prophet problem? Or do we still need <laughs> to wait bit, a, yeah. another minute or two? Yeah, he's definitely a problem. Um, he's not, um, you know, he's not super scary quite yet. You know, once he finishes that Gleppy, though, like, that's, that might be a go for them. You know, that might be the timing they're waiting on here, since they're so close anyway. You know, I'm not sure they went into this game with the game plan, like, hey, why don't we get our Nature's Prophet out 2k ahead of anybody else on the map, and then let's get a quick Gleppy, and we'll go fight people. But, uh, you know, since we're here, we'll see if they decide to do that. But I do think that the impetus is on Keed quite a bit here, and they're, you know, like I said, it's been. Oh, now we got to bleak in, here. toss back onto KJ. KJ even going through the tranquility, not quite able to do it. Now they found ADR oh, no. oh, oh, into the kick, into the overgrowth. Yeah. Bye bye, Zeus. As they're going to use this Exo to take the mid tier one tower, we'll see what Keed is able to do across the map. As I feel like that's the first gank. They've been trying many ganks, have Infamous. And that's the first gank that actually worked out in their favor. Yeah, they had a little, little bit of sloppy execution early on, but um, able to have a nice kick back there to secure the second kill. And uh, Nature's Prophet says, my team's feeding. I'm out of here. Just disconnects from the game. So, I yeah, I mean, the, the uh, like I said, the, the the initiative is supposed to be on key to side right now, but it's it's infamous. It's moving around the map and taking objectives. I mean, there's only one tier one down on the side of infamous, so they're feeling pretty good right now. You have to imagine. Hmm. Yeah, and I mean, still still a good ways away from the helm of the Overlord for Tavo. So is that, uh, I, I mean, that, I feel like that is, I feel like that might be just as important as the Glepnir on Costa Vile. Oh, it's more important. Yeah, I think the the, Glep, the early Glepi, I think, is a, is a happy surprise for them, whereas, um, you know, the Super Helm is critical to the Beastmaster's game. So um, I, I don't think they can sit around and wait for that, though. I mean, he's still, he's still not even close to the Vlads. I mean, he's a, about uh, under halfway to the Vlads still. So um, I think they just they just need to start making moves around the mo oh, map so and just close. trust Constable to come in. Yeah, that looks real close. Woo! And that's a disaster if Constable Radiant's goes down at this point in the game, right? Because he's just he's a big old money pinata right now. Oscar did use his exorcism, so uh, maybe a little bit of a reprieve for Keed, an opportunity as well. And we talked about what uh, the, the struggles that Tavo is having, but also uh, 40 R man. <laughs> Fordor? Is that mm -hmm. what we call him? What have you been calling him? Uh, so a lot of people call him 40 R. I call him ADR. His name's Adriano. So, like, I assume that uh, that's okay. supposed to be ADR is like a shortened. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Okay. So, uh, I like Fordor. But I, I do know what I. Go Fordor. Fordor. <laughs> Fordor vehicle. As uh, this is going to be a, a four man smoke up. <laughs> Going towards Tavo, the blink forward. They have found him out. Coming forward with a haste rune. The Avatos combo has been completed. The kick forward. They had the silence out onto him. The crib swarm. The damage. The death of Tavo. Oh, well, they got their eyes on Kataro, but he, he the star sense goes off, and he's out of dodge there. So. 
I uh, decided to go for the Dragon Lance instead of the um, instead of the Mask of Badness. So he's gonna go ahead and finish up that Pike before he uh, before he goes in to finish up a Mjolnir. And the Mjolnir, the Mjolnir is really nice, but they don't have like a frontliner to put it on necessarily. I mean, I guess you can throw it on your Tony or your uh, Earth Spirit and let him go in. But I mean, it is a really effective if you have put it on the right target. It is a really effective Gleppy, uh, not Gleppy, uh, Mjolnir game. Like you be shooting lightning bolts all everywhere with all the summons, putting in those extra attacks. But so far, I gotta say, I like what I'm seeing from Infamous playing for their pride as uh, they're 0 and 6 so far on the season. But here in this game, they're looking pretty good at the start. 8 and 5 is the split, 1k is the net worth lead. But uh, it's really, it's it, it's the the net worth of the two cores for the side of Evo Key, the net worth of, of 40R and the net worth of Tavo, that make things looking so dang good for Infamous at this current moment. Yeah, and I think the drafts factor into that too, right? Uh, you know, we we said a hundred times how Key just needs to be on the offensive here. Um, but, you know, if you're hanging equal at this point in the game, you're actually ahead, I think, for Infamous. Um, and, you know, that combined with the what you mentioned about the 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 other two cores struggling. It's it's basically all on Constable right now. And this is going to be an XO used to take Roshan number one. And Keed, with their movement around the map, they're either not aware or they don't feel comfortable enough to take this engagement. As uh, this isn't really a necessarily fast Roshan neither. The scan no? is going to reveal KJ. Slotim's oh. going to blink over. Avatar's combo. Oh, yeah. Rolling Boulder. They have the control. Assassination complete. Yeah. I was wondering if they were doing Roche. Got that confirmed for him. Don't worry, guys. I found them, he says in the comms. The Rainbow TP's bottom. They're going to try to catch him out. Is Constable. Oh, no. Rata. Oh, no. The Avatar's combo goes to Belay. Looking for the escape. No, he's going to be stunned up and beat down. Is it Costa Bile? I've been calling Constable. Yes. Oh my gosh, I've been calling him Constable. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. That was way off. Okay. Or, I'm, or wow, yeah, other I'm... people have called him Costable. I don't know which one is correct. But OD well, Pixel calls him Costa Bile, so I call him Costa Bile. Yeah, that's Costa Bile for sure. I, I feel confident about that. Also, feel very confident it's not Constable. I was about to say, I'm not sure that your your confidence can really amount to much after you've been calling him Constable for the last, like, five <laughs> minutes. But uh, it's okay. It's all right, buddy. I'm yeah. not going to hold it against you. Yeah. Well, see, interesting that they're grouping up here without their sniper is infamous. Okay, they, they're sort of working their way towards him. But... Oh no, the they have the player. vision, they're blinking in the Avatar's combo, but the lift is there, and they're gonna try to turn this around, bring down Slot Tims with the Thunder God's Wrath, they have the burst damage, the kill goes to Tabo. Now, goes to Bile, he's coming to this engagement, but also so has Kataro, and Kataro, he's the biggest, baddest man in the lobby. So he chases Costa Bile off his spot, secures the life of MJZ or does he? Because now there's going to be a snowball forward. Davo continuing to hunt as well as King RD. But the Guardian Green burst heal. The Crypt Swarm turnaround. They've killed King RD. Yeah, a little bit ambitious on the snowball there. And they got the creep as well. So Infamous turning it around again. And man, it's, it's really uh, four-door sedan here is on the struggle bus right now. Uh, he's sitting on bottom of the net worth. That's not where you want to be as a Zeus, uh, as, far, well, as far as the cores. So, having mm -hmm. a really rough game. Radiance bottom tower yeah, Zeus attack. can farm pretty well, but it's not, it's not a position you want to be in, obviously. Right, meanwhile, I mean, he's he's behind Slot Tims, who's spent his entire game running around the map trying to gank. I feel like the boy is barely farmed at all. Yeah. Just enough to get his yeah, blink dagger, and that's it. Oh, up in the top oh. lane, maybe a go onto four R onto King R D, and that's another clean, quick pick. As now popping the EXO, they're looking to siege onto this tier two tower. Doing the Lashrak siege games is Oscar. Yeah, they don't. Like, he doesn't look interested in defending this right now. 
They're just hanging out in the triangle. They're bopping creeps. Kind of heading over that way now, but... I think it's going to be too late, Rata, by the time they get over there. Yeah, that, that tower's falling pretty quickly. They are smoked up and on the yeah. way, though. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Maybe got to look for a, a, a pick on the back. The sniper is not here. That TP is going to take forever. Oh, power oh play. Power play. Costa Bile, he's going to come into this engagement. Throw out the Gleppy onto two. Oscar, he's trying to use the Spear Siphon, keep himself up to good health, but the Thunderbolts are there. Oscar, he's on the wrong side. He's just trying to steal health from the, the Ancient Creep, but the last Thunderbolt is enough as ADR picks up the kill. Yeah, it felt like a kind of a silly mistake there from Infamous. They just... Two of the heroes were not there and had no way to get there, and they're just kind of hanging out in the enemy jungle there. So, a uh, little bit of a mistake from them, and we see the gold lead slip to the other side after that little goof. Little goofs make for big differences in the game of Dota 2. <laughs> they have smoked up. They're not really going to be finding anybody. There is a TP in from Costa Bile. But he's going to be in safe areas for now. Slot in, still on the hunt. Now that smoke is going to pop. Maybe you'll wish that it didn't. He's able to get the rolling boulder away. Still at the tier one up in the mid uh, does Infamous. So that feels really good at 22 minutes into the game. Especially when you consider the lineup they're against. See if they're able to continue to hold it. They do have enough of the ages for, well, only 25 seconds left, so... Oh, else down down in the bottom lane, off. Costable, he's going to come down here with King RD in tow. Pick up the kill onto Slotted. Nature's Prophet, he's got the BKB finish, and he's working his way towards the Eye of Scotty. Ooh, I like that quite a bit. That's going to be very effective if they ever, uh, him and the Sniper ever have to square up on each other. Man, this, this game came out really hot and then and slowed down again. Mm -hmm. And who do you think the slowing the, of the game uh, benefits? I would say it's still infamous. I mean, this, this Beastmaster is going to fall off a little bit. Um, you know, the Zeus scale is just fine, but I, I think a big sniper in this game is going to be really difficult to deal with for Keed. So if they get, get more time for him, he's got the Mjolnir done, and he's, he's just going glass cannon. He's got the, the Daedalus queued up. He's got the BKB queued up as well, so we'll see what his decision is there. But um, yeah, he, he could be a huge problem. See if they smoke up. They see them infamous gathering. I'm not sure what else they'd be doing gathered like this. Oh, they don't have a smoke. Okay, never mind. They don't Chilling. have a smoke, so we're just potting up like tuna. Yep. Doing the same thing on the other side, though, so they're not really losing efficiency. Uh, Infamous's lanes are not in a good spot, so... Ooh, Keed uh, is reading this like a book, man. I know exactly what's going on. They're in a great position. Oh, you don't want to go up there. Don't do it. Up onto the high ground he goes. But they find Costa Bile. Blink onto the backside. He gets the BKB up. Exo has been dropped. They need to kill this Death Prophet. The Spear Simon is coming through. Costa Bile, he's in the snowball with King RD. Now they're going to come out, but it's not going to be enough as they only trade slot in for Costa Bile. King RD, the next to fall. Four staff forward. They want to get more. They get the toss back onto the Zeus. It's three. Wow. I, <laughs> I was totally wrong about that. It's. Infamous Draft is really strong right now, man. They, their their five-man is deadly. Uh, they have the pipe and the Guardian Greaves finished up on the Death Prophet. Okay, that makes sense now looking at it. Yeah, these these grouped-up fights are going to go their way for now until they have more tools to deal with them on the side of Keed. I'm just able to, I, I mean, Keed was in a good position there, and they just <laughs> kind of wandered uphill into darkness and uh, were able to still take the fight where Infamous. Not usually how that works. Right. Yep, just able to... I mean, really, Costa Bile... He's, he has to be somewhat of their frontliner, but at the same time, I feel like the Nature's Prophet as your frontliner doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, he's supposed to be your damage, not your frontline, so... Right, uh, he's like... He's still sitting on top of the net worth, but yeah. <laughs> it's not a great sitch. Did you see I mean, Dagger down on the smoke They're gonna find Oscar. Forward. King RD, they do find Oscar. Or is Oscar finding you? TP rotations coming in from M and Z as slotted. He is gonna be trapped up. 
Now they're trying to turn this around. ADR is coming, oh. so that gives them the extra bit of damage. Chavo is here as well. The blink forward, the Avatar's combo. That's going to be the death. King RD, MJZ now being aggressive on, but he has a four staff. Get himself down to the low ground. Now turning onto Tiny. We have the stomp is there. We Do we have the control and the damage to follow it up? No, because Oscar's oh on the goodness. back line. Killing Costa, Belay. Kataro in tow, picking up the kill, and now they found Tabo. Man, and you can see with the with the Zeus being behind, actually this fight not might not be over. Uh blink Assassination down three. on to KJ. Three toss as well. He's gonna be silenced up now. He, they have him found out the four staff trying to get himself away, but the toss to cancel the oh, yeah. TP death of KJ. And Kataro is yeah, still hunting. Like that... He's just back here by the tier one tower. Dude. He does not have <laughs> yeah. a given F in the world. No. Yeah, he's just running down this tier two. Yeah, I, I don't know if uh, having this the Tusk as a support was the plan in the draft. I feel like maybe they made a last second pivot and saying, hey, we don't have any burst damage on this team. Maybe we need to pick up a Zeus here and we'll move this. Oh, they have how do they know he was there? Oh, that, with the scan, dog. Oh, the scan. Okay. It's, word it's, plus scan. Oh, yeah, strong yeah, yeah. Things. All right. I had that backwards. It was actually, it was it was the other guy's word. I had that backwards. So, uh, anyway, yeah, maybe they, you know, they saw that they had no burst damage and then made the pivot to the Zeus mid. But with him being so far behind, they still have that burst damage problem. We saw that they, you know, right. they did catch some, catch him out in that bottom jungle, but they just didn't have the burst with, you know, Oscar having all of these uh, auras to keep his team upright. Uh, they just weren't able to get through anybody there. And if, if your initial burst doesn't get through them, it's it's a problem right now for Keith. Right. Yeah, I mean, we are getting very close to the Nimbus on ADR. So that is only 200 gold away. That's going to be a little bit of a power spike that we'll have to work with here. Absolutely. But uh, all in all, things are looking very, very rough for the side of Keith. Yeah, and good for Infamous, you know. It's... You know, we talk about how they uh, they don't really have anything to play for, but and once that horn sounds, you know, if you're a competitor, it doesn't matter, right? You're not thinking about your position in the tournament. You're just trying to win a video game. Right. Yeah, no, and I mean, obviously, you know, these are these are the top flight of the Dota players. So 100%, they're not going to feel good about this performance. They want to go out on a high note. This is the last attempt that they'll have to do it. Their last fixture of the DPC Tour. As we're going to trade Roshan, number two for this siege. Or are we? Oh. Rainbow of TP's coming in. Coast of Belay. Now he's going to be Avatar's combo. Back. BKB going to come out from Coast of Belay. Rolling Boulder forward. Not able to do much. Nimbus is going to be their slot in. Coming around to the backside. Going for the TP. But no, they oh. cancel it. They cancel it with the overgrowth. Holding him in place to beat him to smithereens. As two have fallen for the side of Key. Oh, they got the Yule. They, they found another. Assassinate. Coming out. Well, we heard a cock. He didn't He didn't fire KJ for stab. He's going to get himself out of the way of the rolling boulder. The Woo. assassinate does not clip and die. Pretty impressive he was able to save, uh, get out there in the Rubik. He's going the, the triple fluffy hat build. He's His head is certainly warm. If, if it, nothing else happens, KJ is going to have a warm head in this game. Man, fluffy hats are so good. I love fluffy hats. I feel like people don't value fluffy hats, but I value fluffy hats. Yeah, man. Yeah, living in Indiana, those winters are brutal, so... <laughs> Gotta have those fluffy hats. Dude, it is brutal. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. It's, <laughs> it's cold as a mug. As uh, we do see the push onto the dire uh, tier 2 tower down here in the bottom lane, going to be complete. 9k now is this net worth advantage and the sniper has overtaken Costa Bile on the nature's profit so Kataro he's in a great place to be and I mean even if they get to the point where they're they're going to be able to push you have to push against a sniper who's yeah, having a this good is that game giant sniper we're talking about yeah right like you know we were talking about how that that's how they slow him down if they have a big fat sniper and uh I, I think it's fair to call him big and fat right now he's <laughs> so, oh Brute's gonna try to get out. Hunting for MJZ, but he's out. Four staff out of goes. Nimbus. Four staff is another very good item, my friends. Yeah, we're seeing a couple of them. Uh, as we do in almost every game. I, it seems like South America in, particularly, uh, in particular favors this item quite a bit. It's the four staff meta, my friend. Yeah. It's the it's the Lena Major and the four staff major or the four staff meta. 
as we do have a smoke play. Aegis still in tow, but the scan is going to spot out where M and Z is. Oh no, the rolling boulder, it does connect. Now silence, Oscar gonna bleak in with the exorcism, going for the BKBTP. They don't have an answer this time around, so Kostabi, Costa Bile is gonna be fine. Oh, the same cannot be said for KJ. Needs a few more hats. And to now, what do we do one. with this EXO? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna just run into yeah. tier three here. Oh, okay. I'm probably just gonna clear the wave. There's only a couple seconds left, so I'll just clear the wave and reset. Daedalus finished up on the Weird. sniper here. It looks like he's going in cool. for a. Going in for a Satanic next, I believe. Well, so I'm wondering, because he was—he seemed to be debating Blink Daggers for a while. Mm -hmm. So I wonder... No, okay, yeah. yeah I, see his, I see his items in the Courier. He's going Satanic. Oh, okay. Gotcha. gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, in the in the situation he does get jumped on, the, you know, just being able to press a button and get a cheese is pretty good. So... Oh, he's got the Grove Bow, too. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> this boy is he's got uh, the girl bow he's he got says, the pally got sword hanging out yeah he's, he's trying to get some global presence of his own with all that range <laughs> he's hitting from so far away Rata. gracious and what do you do against this dude like what dota play is there to deal with a sniper that's hitting you or your tower from like 1500 units Oh man, it's so brutal. The only Blink Dagger they have is on the Tusk, and he's going for the Force, but I feel like they need to go for the Hail Mary here, just go for the Ags on the Tusk. I mean, it's a long, long way off, but I mean, they I feel like they need a miracle. Like, nothing has gone Keed way, Keed's way in so long in this game. Uh, they need something drastic to change the change the progress of this game, the the momentum of this game, I should say. They're gonna get yeah, a Uncle reprieve Mo here, though, with in your push. favor. Yeah. yeah Uncle you know, Mo's and been I think they've not the really been able to set game. up. Right, they've not really been able to set up any ganks with the the Nature's Prophet teleportation either. It feels like a very long time yeah. since we've seen a play like that. But I mean, Infamous, they've been balled up together as a, as a unit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, I'm sure that they're aware of that, right, Infamous? You know, they, there is a lot of global presence on the other side. Oh, oh the toss, the blink forward, the Avatoss, but the lift drags him away. But he went into the snowball all the same. We double saved, which two, two positives equals a negative. It's still going to be the death of King RD. <laughs> he just uppercutted a courier there. <laughs> Accepted his fate and just uh, took out his uh, familiar there. Cheeky little play. How the siege continues onto the high ground, throwing out shrapnel, giving him vision of what's happening back behind. But he has all his friends with him, as well as an exorcism available on the death prophet. And now we're gonna drop it. So here comes the exorcism. Tier three tower, the first one to fall of the game, and they have no outer towers, so they could very well swing this both top and bottom. And it's gonna be the glyph of fortification forced out. Backing up, waiting for the next creep wave to come in. Which they do have good ways to, to kill the creep waves, right? You have the Fade Bolt, you have the Arc Lightning. You can get rid of a creep mm -hmm. wave, no problem. Yeah, you got the Nature's Prophet to cut lanes. Uh, they got the tools, even even the axes, you know. Not not a terrible, uh, you know, Fade Bolt. They got the tools, so. Uh, might be a little bit of a challenge for Infamous to overcome. I think we've all been in that position before where high ground is just unbreakable and it gets really, really frustrating and you end up making a mistake. So Infamous is going to have to keep it tight here. You know, you can play that kind of Dota where you just choke them out and uh, I just let the lead grow and grow and grow until it doesn't matter. So see if how, how clean Infamous is able to keep this game as it progresses. Ice Frog is pleased with Infamous. Currently, 80-20 is the split on the Ice Frog Index. Of course, shout out to Pepe. The game is always 50-50. The, there's going to be the ultimate coming out just to scan, just to see what's happening. Radiance top tower is under attack. We do see both teams splitting up a little bit now. They've been balled up for most of the game, so 
everybody getting a little efficient, getting their getting their lanes pushed out, I think is a priority here for Infamous. So, um, yeah, all of their lanes are pushed in right now. So they got to fix that and then before they get back on the offensive. We do see a Satanic finished up on the Nature's Prophet as well. So paired up with the um, with the BKB, that's going to be extremely effective. Um, no Scotty coming out from Sniper here. We'll see if that changes now that there is a uh, now that that Satanic is out on the Nature's Prophet. Oh, just finish up a BKB of his own. So <laughs> he's running out of slots. Man, he is large, gracious. Checking and in getting on close to here. that. Uh... He already got that level 20 on the Nature's Prophet, so the Sprout Leashes getting close to that level 25, only five levels away, in which case this Nature's Prophet just becomes a full-fledged problem. But the Sniper quickly able to dissuade any form of aggression. This is going to be a very long Roshan respawn timer. No, still two minutes and 20 seconds before Roshan will be available and ready to party. Yeah, and uh, Infamous able to get away with still staying pretty spread on the map. This little three-man smoke is really clever. But yeah, Nature's Prophet got the star sense. He feels it. There's no vision in the area, so that's that's pure feeling right there. We do see the Dire got a really cheeky, cheeky ward in the Radiant base here. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure how much that uh, ward is going to help. I guess, okay, if the Nature's Prophet is split pushing, that could help quite a bit. That could be really effective. <laughs> so we see the, the Beastmaster being really annoying right now. Cutting two waves with just one creep. Yeah, and I mean, it's they're, uh, they're, they're going to have yeah. to unleash the full zoo in order to bring this game back into their favor. As, uh, again, both teams trying to position themselves for Roshan. There's oh. going to be the lift. The Nimbus is dropped. They're trying to get a return kill. They oh. do it. Able to bring down Slotted. And now they're coming back in. Exorcism has been dropped. Goes to Melee. Has oh, been caught out. The death of the Prophet so dang quick with the Hex Stick from, uh, from Oscar. Just, just dropped him, man. Went down so quick. I, I, I wasn't sure that he was... Uh, yeah, he was hexed up, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a hex stick yes. from Death Prophet. And couldn't tell what hit hero it was, but I did not expect it to be the Nature's Prophet that died that fast, man. That is a lot of damage coming out from Infamous right now. Oh, and talk about that hex stick. Now it's out onto the Tuscar. Oh, he does. He is able to get the blink away, however. The only play possible to save himself, and he's able to execute. himself up right there a little bit unfortunate for uh for keed that they had to pull those uh those big creeps away from the bottom lane i think they could have opened up an opportunity right now uh you know that infamous is trying really hard to get this roshan at the moment or sorry no he's not spot they're posturing around the roshan rather but uh mm -hmm. you know having that bottom lane pushed out like this is what really opens it up for infamous Oh, they're all smoked up, though. He's not ready to give this up. Four-man smoke. And they can teleport in globally popped. anywhere with this Death Prophet. Or the Nature's Prophet, however. Blink in. Oh, oh but he's immediately hexed up oh. and brought to down <laughs> to his knees. Who was that wagon that hit him? It was Katara. Goes to be late. Now he's going to come in. Feeling desperate. Feels like he has to fight. Popping the BKB. Trying to man up, but he's surrounded. Beset on all oh, sides. And brought down. Rolling boulder forward, Maybe not quite able to connect there. onto ADR. But this should like open up Roshan. Left there, man. Yeah. Looks like they're going to get a free Roshan Roshan here out of it. Yeah, and they don't have to use Exo for this dude. Exo's not available, so nope. they don't have to use it. So that means they're going to be able to walk <laughs> high ground with Aegis, with Cheese, with the Aghanim's Blessing. And with the freaking, uh, and with the exorcism. Oh, TP's oh, down to the bottom rainbow. lane. They know rainbow. They want this Rubik dead. <laughs> I was going to say, Tavo doing his best to push out the bottom lane to try to slow down this push, but uh, Infamous has had enough of that. And <laughs> just TP's in their whole team. Make sure that they... Oh, oh no, they uh -oh. found him. The sniper. He finds Tavo trying to TP in the trees. 
held down with the overgrowth, and Kataro is beyond godlike with another one. Man, what a shot from Slotin. Uh, he knew exactly where he was and took the shot. Oh, actually, I'm not sure if that, uh, maybe that um, that little tree ward was up. I'm not sure before he, he did the rolling boulder, but if not, what a great oh, yeah. blind shot. So they gave the Ag's blessing to the tree and protector. So they will be able to see yeah, the absolutely. entirety of the map. Yeah, I mean, as this game drags on and the, he's able to cast more eyes in the forest, it's just going to get harder and higher, harder for uh, for Keed to get back in this game. And man, this game is blown wide open by Infamous, the serious underdog here. He's up by 27k and has complete map control right now, Rada. Yeah, and I mean, I, I honestly, I'm struggling to see a pathway for Vivo at this current point in time, at this juncture in the game. Like, outside of some 3-2-2 action, I'm really struggling to see what plays that Vivo are going to be able to make themselves to make this thing a, a, a possible win. And I mean, as you caught it, he did go for the four staff, but we are now working towards the Aghanim Scepter. Maybe the Bleak Kickback is the play of the day, as now maybe trying to get aggressive. A, uh, Kataro, he's the only one holding on to the high ground. I say that, but he actually has a bunch of friends here. Now the Bleak Ford, the Hex hit coming out onto Tavo. BKB is held in by the Snowball. Looking to save him is King RD. Savage Roar even going to be expended. Lift up, but now the tree toss oh, coming oh through. Goes to Belay. He's on the back lines, but he's surrounded by everyone. He's trying to get back to the fountain. He's going to be slowed up, but he does finally get himself back to where it's safe. But they're just fountain diving here in DPC. That just refusing to let them get out of their base. Even popping the BKB ADR, he still has to be forced to go back to Fountain. The Hex stick is there, but oh now that's God. the death of King RD. Rubik, the next to fall, surely. No, he's going to make his way slot, and he tried to go for the snipe. But the body <laughs> block from goes to Belay, ensuring the life of his Rubik. No, he didn't even do it. Slotted was still able to get the kill before he went down. Yeah. So, putting on the clown shoes here for the end of the game. Uh, you know, I, I think this one's pretty well in hand, but having a little fun with it, our infamous, you know, why not? It's, it's been a rough series or rough tournament for him, but uh, having a lot of fun in this game, man. Do a little fountain diving. Oh. Hurricane Pike forward. Oh, no. They found Costa Bile again. The hex stick holding him oh, in boy. place as Kataro just shoots a billion holes in him. Oh god, look at the crit. The crit. He needs one more right click. Two more right clicks. Down goes the Zeus. Now goes to be late with the buyback. He's trying to man up, and there is still Aegis of the Immortal on the sniper. There it is. And then GG has been called. It, feel, it, it was feeling like it was over. Maybe they tried to make one last play. But game number one is gonna go to Infamous. Yeah, man. What a game from them. I, I think they ex you know, they were able to slow down this really fast paced lineup from keyed and uh you know played really clean i think they they made quick moves around the map uh you know really really took the initiative away from the enemy and this doesn't look like a team that uh hasn't won a series yet you know <laughs> it's they they looked impressive man yeah absolutely and i'm super stoked for him honestly i'm stoked for infamous to be able to, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be a little bit non-biased here, and I say that I hope the Infamous are able to pull off the upset on Devivo Keed, just for the storyline, just for how cool it would sound, and you guys get to go into the end of the season on a high note. It's been a rough year. I don't want you to just end it on a, or it's been a rough season. I don't want to end it on a low note. I would love for them to go out on a high note, go into Div Two, ready to kick butt and take names. Yeah, I think that's actually really important for the mentals of the team. You know, I'm sure they're feeling really good right now, but if they're able to end the season on a win, I, I think that's, you know, a huge difference, right? They're like, hey, you know, we can hang with these guys. We can play in Div 1. We just had a rough season. All we got to do is come, you know, let's go go beat up on Div 2 and get back up there. Like, we can do this. Uh, we can play at this level. So uh, I'm sure they're going to be highly motivated coming into this next game to try to steal off the series. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I mean, if anything, it just proved that the caster curse is too dang strong, crucial. All the panel they or the <laughs> panel curse maybe is what we should call it. They all they all backed uh they all backed Vivo Key. They said that they were going to win. I'm sure a little bit of it was a uh, bias coming in. Sherlock, he's a known Vivo Keed fan. But uh, mm. you know, at the end of the day, 
the caster curse it proved to be too strong vivo keen they dropped the first map after the panel they all said that they were uh that they were the kings of this game so it'll be interesting to see how well how they explain themselves as uh yeah i do believe that we're going to be gutting to a quick break before we go back to the panel to wrap up game number one <laughs> 